Welcome to Bulga Socks TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Don't dilly dally, don't shilly shally. Come see Sally, Molly, and her little pet Jacko. If you can squawk him when you're out walking, it must be Sally, Molly, and her little pet Jacko. Sally's house is full of laughter. All her friends need looking after. But she's happy caring for a tiny mouse, a piglet, and a little pet Jacko. It was a fine spring day and Dumplen Malwoden was on her way to Sally Mally's picnic. She was worried that she would be late for the Easter hat competition. <laughs> Pribach offered Dumplen a lift. He was going to the picnic too. Dumplen Malwoden asked him if he bought a hat. <laughs> Dumplen told Pribach not to drive too quickly. She didn't want her hat to blow away. <laughs> oh no, they couldn't go back for the hat or they'd be late. <laughs> Sally Mally and Thomas Caradog had been very busy preparing the food for the picnic. Jackie Soch had borrowed a hat from the dressing-up box. He'd been far too busy to make one, as he'd been making a list. Oh, yeah. Mary Mare was wearing her grandmother's hat. <gasps> Gwenny Gwaden had arrived for the picnic, but as Jackie Soch was quick to point out, had come without a hat. Said Jackie Soch, it did say on the invitation. She decided to go home and look for her hat. Ooh. Sally Mally was glad to see her friends. Hey. Dumplen Malwoden didn't usually like going to parties and picnics. <laughs> Jackie Soch wanted to know why they weren't wearing hats. There was a hat competition and a prize for the best one. Yeah. Dumplen was very sorry, but her hat had blown away. Don't worry about the hat, said Sally Mally. I've prepared a special plate of food just for you. <laughs> Great hat, Thomas Caradog, said Sally Mally. Everybody had enjoyed the picnic, although Dumplen hadn't quite finished her lettuce. It's time for the hat competition, said Sally Mally. But Jackie Soch couldn't find his hat. Whoops, said Pribach. Pribach was sure he'd win the hat competition now, and the huge Easter egg, of course. Yeah. Said Mary Mayo. Huh? Said Jack Daw. Hey. Said Thomas Caradog. <coughs> Said Jackie Soch. It was very difficult. Who would win the first prize? Sally Mally didn't want to disappoint anybody. <gasps> Gwenny Gua then couldn't find her hat. <laughs> Sally Mally decided to award the first prize to Gwenny Gua then and Dumplen Malwoden. <laughs> It was time for bed, and they all agreed it had been a splendid picnic. Perhaps we should arrange another picnic next Easter, said Sally Mally. But we don't have to start organising it tonight, Jackie Soch. Good night, everybody, said Sally Mally. <coughs> said Jack Daw, <coughs> said Thomas Garadog. <coughs> said Jackie Soch. Don't dilly dally, don't shilly shally, come see.
It was a lovely spring morning, and Sally Mally was in the garden planting flowers. Her friends, well, they were doing their best. Come on, said Sally Mally, let's all plant some flowers. Plant them facing south, so they get the sunshine. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So this is the south. Jack Daw tried to plant his flower. Oh dear. Jackie Soch wanted to plant his flowers in a very straight line. Oh dear, oh dear. Thomas Curadog would be happy if he could just plant a daisy. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Something very strange was happening. Jack Daw, Jackie Soch and Thomas Curadog went to see Sally Mally. Something is happening under the ground, said Sally Mally. Can you hear anything? asked Sally Mally. Jackie Soch could hear something. He could hear a rumble. That was Jackie Soch's tummy. He was hungry. Sally Mally couldn't hear anything, except perhaps for a distant scratching, as if someone was digging. I think I know who's doing this, said Sally Mally. Thomas Caradog, Jackie Sock and Jack Daw wanted to know who it was. We'll soon find out, said Sally Mally. It was Gwenny Gwaden. <coughs> Jack Daw wanted to know why Gwenny Gwaden was wrecking their garden. Gwenny was very sorry. She didn't know where she was. Gwenny is a mole, explained Sally Mally. They live underground. And they don't see very well. But they're very good at digging. Gwenny Gwa then dug a straight line for Jackie Soch to plant his flowers. And a big hole for Jack Daw's flower. And she made sure Thomas Curadog's daisy was planted exactly where he wanted it. All the flowers were planted and everyone was tired. It was time for Gwenny Gwa then to go home. Do you know which way to go? asked Sally Mally. Gwenny Gwa then wasn't sure, but she knew that it was west of Sally Mally's house. West? We all know where west is, don't we? West is where the sun sets. Bye bye, Gwenny. It had been a very long day and everyone was exhausted. Good night, said Sally Mally. Uh. Said Jack Daw. <coughs> said Jackie Sock. <coughs> said Thomas Caradog. <coughs>